Hi friends, it's Emily again. Um, it's been a little over two weeks since I started this Dubia project and I've been keeping the tank pretty clean. Um, right now you can see that I'll need to replace um, their water gel um, and they didn't actually eat all of that kale. I removed it and replaced it and removed it and replaced it. Um, but I wanted to let you all see how um, the little roaches are, have been developing. They're all bunched up over here. If I could get the camera over there. And what we really want to see is that some of them develop wings. And that's how we'll be able to tell the males from the females. Um, the research that I read says that you really want to have one male to three or four females um, for best chances of um, breeding and um, raising little baby trilobites. Um, so I'm not sure if I can find any exoskeletons. They will shed. They shed as they grow. And ooh, here's some. They're over here. They like to play dead. Aha! This friend might be developing wings. Do you see that it has a little bit more of a light brown shiny coating around the, the top part? near its head than the other one that ran away, or even this one right here, these were down there. So I think this one might be a male when they were to hide. Let's see. Oh. They're developing and growing at different rates. I wonder if that's due to what they've been eating or some of them choosing not to eat the same things that the larger roaches have been eating or if it's a difference between male and female dubia roaches. I don't know. That might be a pretty cool thing to figure out. So we'll check in with them again. They aren't quite adults yet, so they won't be breeding quite yet, uh, but hopefully they will soon.